Welcome to Amit's Math School. In this video, we are going to learn about land measurement method. And this is the part 1. In this video, we just find the area of the land using the traditional method and triangle area method. And we compare the result with the original one to get the accurate value of the area. Also, we discuss about the percent of error in case of traditional method and the triangular area method. Suppose this one is a land. This type of land is trapezium type land. The opposite sides are parallel but not equal. And these two sides are also not equal. I suppose this length is 100 feet. This length is 30 feet. And this length is 60 feet. And this length is 104.4 feet. First, find the original area. The original area is, this, since this one is the trapezium, and if we apply the formula of the area of trapezium, we can easily get the value, that is 4500 square feet. And if we divide that value with 435.6, that will give the result uh, in shotok, that is 10.33 shotok or shotangsho. If we divide this area into two parts, that is one rectangle and triangle, and finding the rectangle area and also the triangle area. In that case, we also get the original result, that is the exact result, which is 4500 square. Now, if we apply the average method, the traditional method of finding the area of the land, the average of these two opposite sides and the average of these two opposite sides, and the multiplication value of that two value, which will give the value that is 4599 square feet. This one is greater than the original value. That is, the original value is 4500, but in this case, we get the value 4599 square feet, which gives, that is 10.56 shot up. In this case, the percentage of error is about 2.2%. And if we apply the triangle formula, that is, if we split this area into triangle, that is, join any two opposite vertex, that is, this vertex or this vertex, if we join this one, this area will be divide into two triangles and if we join this corner and this corner in that case also this area will be divided into two triangles and if we apply the triangle area formula in that case we will get more accurate treasure that is if we join this and this these two opposite vertex and find this diagonal length in that case we get the value 4499.89 square feet which is very much approximate to 4500 square feet. And in this case also, if we divide with 435.6, in that case, we will have the result in shotok, that is 10.33 shotok. In this case, the percentage of error is very less, that is 0.002%. If we take more value after decimal point, in that case, this value will be more close to the original. We just see the average methods which traditionally used and the triangle area, area formula between these two methods, the triangle area method is very much reliable and there will be very less percent of error. So, in case of accuracy, the triangle area method gives the more accurate result. Now, unit of land measurement. In this video, we just use this unit that is one decimal, which is equal to one shotangsho which we can call one shotok, which is equal to 435.6 square feet approximate. And one kata, that is 720 square feet approximate. We just find the area of the land in square feet, then divide the result with 435.6. We get the value of shotangsho and decimal. And if we divide with 720, in that case, we will get the result in kata. If we find the exact area, then we can easily convert it into in any unit, either in decimal or shotok or kata, no problem. Now, let's see the triangle area method, the area of the triangle formula used to find the area of the land. Suppose this one is the triangle type land, that is this length is A, this length is B, and this length is C. So in this case, how to find the area of this type of land? That is first, find S, the value of S, which is A plus B plus C divided by 2. This length plus this length plus this length divided by 2. And then, find S minus A, S minus B, and S minus C. That is, this S minus the first value, this S minus the second value, this S minus the third value. And then, find S times S minus A times S minus B times S minus C. Here, we have this value S. And we have S minus A, S minus B, and S minus C. 
we just multiply this four value s s minus a s minus b s minus then find the square root of this result that is square root of s times s minus a times s minus b times s minus c which gives the area of the triangle this triangle that is the area of this triangle is equal to square root of s times s minus a times s minus b times s minus c square unit if we measure this length in feet the result will be square feet this triangle area method gives the more accurate result in case of land measurement let's see one example of triangle area method that is suppose this one is a triangular type length that is this one is 52 this one 50 and this one is 40 step number one find the value of s which is 52 plus 50 plus 40 divided by 2 which is 71 that is sum of these three value divided by 2 this is 71 step number two 71 minus first value that is 52 71 minus the second value this is 50 71 minus third value which is 40 and number three find the multiplication of this further that is s is equal to 71 times 71 minus 52 which is 19 times 71 minus 15 which is 21 71 minus 40 this is 31 that is multiplication of these four values which is 878199 and step number four find the square root of this value that is square root of 878199 which gives the area of this triangle that is 937.12 square unit. If we measure this length in feet, in that case the area will be square feet. We can convert this value in any unit as we wish. This triangle area method gives the very accurate result, and the, in this case the percentage of euros is very less. Now let's apply the triangle area method to find the area of any square or trapezium that is four sided and close area now we just use triangle area method to find the area of this type of land so first join this point and this point to opposite vertex to get one diagonal suppose this length is 104.4 feet now we have two triangles this one and this one two triangles if we find the area of these two triangles separately and add these two value in that case we will get the total area of the land for this triangle according to the triangle area method first find s that is sum of these three value 104.4 plus 104.4 plus 6 divided by 2 which is 134.4 now the value of the square root of s times s minus 60 s minus 104 times s minus 104.4 which gives the area of this triangle after substituting the value of s we can get the value which is square root of 8 triple nine four to four square feet and the exact value is 2 triple nine point nine zero square feet so the area of this triangle is 2 triple nine point nine zero square feet now find the area of this triangle that is first find s that is 30 plus 104.4 plus 100 divided by 2 which is 117.2 then square root of s times s minus the first value that is 30 times s minus 100 times s minus 104.4 just like previous which will give the value square root of double to four nine triple nine point nine seven four four square feet and if we find the value which will give the value one four nine nine point nine nine square feet so if we add these two value, that will be the area of the original trapezium type land area. So add these two, the area will be 4499.89 square feet, which is very much approximate to the original value that is 4500 square feet. So if we divide this value with 435.6, in that case, that will give the value in Shotok, that is 10.33 Shotok. Let's see one example of average method. That is the traditional method. So this one is our length as earlier. In this case, first we find the average length. That is these two. Average between these two opposite sides. That is 100 plus 104.4 divided by 2, which is 102.2 feet. And the average breadth, that is 60 plus 30 divided by 2, which is 45. And the area is the multiplication value of these two. That is 102.2 times 45 feet. So the area is 4599 square feet. We know 435.6 square feet is equal to 1 shotok. So if we divide this value with this 435.6 
square feet. So we'll get the value 10.56. So this is our result that is 4599 square feet or we can say 10.56. Here we just use the average method which is traditionally used to find the area of the land. And we just saw earlier that using this method we cannot get the accurate value. In some case this method is useful but most of the case when the sides are straight in that case this method doesn't give the accurate result. Let's see the euro in average formula. If the land is parallelogram type, these two sides are 60 feet, these two sides are 100 feet. Clearly, if we draw in perpendicular, this length is must be less than this side. That is, suppose this one is 55 feet. Now, if we find the area of this parallelogram using the average method, that is, average length is here 100 and average breadth is here 60. And the area we get that is 60 times 100, which is 6000 square feet. But we know this one is a parallelogram. And if we find the area, the original area will be 55 times 100. The original area is 5500 square feet. So this original area is 5500. And we got the value using the average formula, which is 6000. This is much more than this value. So the euro is 500 divided by 5500 times 100 percent which is about 9 percent. So if the land is this type that is parallelogram type and if we apply the average formula in that case the percent of error is about 9 percent. This is very large error. If the land is this parallelogram type we shouldn't use the average formula. Now the advantage of triangle area method. If we know the triangle area method in that case, we can find the area of the triangular type land, any four-sided land. In this case, we have to divide area into two triangles and we can easily measure the five-sided land and just join the vertex, split it into triangle and find the triangle area and sum of all three triangles will be the result of the five-sided land. We can also measure the six-sided land if we join this diagonal in that case, we got 1, 2, 3, 4, 4 triangle. And if we find the area of this triangle and sum all the value, we will get uh, this hexagon type land area. So, the main advantage of triangle area method is you can measure any type of land with a straight side. If the side of land are straight, using this triangle area method, you can easily get the exact result.